Top 10 cycling injuries. Concussion. Crashes are a part of cycling and unfortunately so are head injuries. Concussions are a form of brain injury resulting from a direct blow. Wearing a helmet significantly reduces the chances of injury but cannot completely prevent concussion. Achilles tendonitis. If you've got pain in the Achilles through cycling, then it's likely to be Achilles tendonitis, which is an inflammation commonly associated with overuse. It can also be brought on by poor bike fit or an issue with cleat position. Patella tendonitis. Tendonitis of the knee. This is commonly associated with having your saddle too low or if you grind a big gear and your glute muscles aren't working as hard as they should be. Broken clavicle. Otherwise known as a broken collarbone, this is the most common break in cycling commonly caused by putting your arm down to save yourself in a low speed crash. Once you impact the floor, the collarbone is often the weakest link of the chain and the first to snap. Pro tip, try and keep hold of your handlebars when you crash. Broken scaphoid. If your collarbone isn't the weak link in a fall, then your scaphoid bone often is. The scaphoid is one of the carpal bones on the thumb side of the wrist. Often not visible in x-rays, this fracture is frequently mistaken for a simple wrist strain. When the scaphoid breaks, it can cause significant problems because there's only blood supply into one end of the bone. Left untreated, if there is a fracture, it can lead to avascular necrosis, which effectively is cellular death of the bone. Fractured pelvis. If you don't put your hand down to break your fall, the first point of contact with the ground when you crash is often your hip. Pelvic fractures are common amongst amateur and professional cyclists alike. And as fractures go, this one is particularly painful. It normally doesn't lead to any major complications unless it was a particularly bad break. Saddle sores. Basically, saddle sores are a skin disorder and the biggest cause appears to simply be long hours in the saddle. However, not riding with a chamois, riding in dirty shorts, having your saddle too high or using a cheap saddle can also cause this unwanted irritation. Plus, wearing any items of clothing under your shorts will not help. Lower back pain. You'll often hear cyclists complaining about this when riding. In addition to feeling twisted or blocked, the discomfort often means that riders aren't able to get full power out through the pedals. It's often caused by a bad bike fit, long hours spent in an unnatural position, and the constant vibration coming from the road. Lower back problems can lead to feelings of asymmetry in the pedal stroke. It's important to make sure these issues, if they continue, are addressed, because if you continue riding, it can lead to problems elsewhere, such as your knees. Neck pain. Similarly to lower back pain, Soreness or sharp pains in the neck can normally be put down to spending a long time in a fixed position. This leaves the neck in extension for long periods of time which can impinge the neck joints leading to irritation. Equally, a faulty bike fit can lead to the same issues. Numbness of the hand. Officially known as thoracic outlet syndrome or TOS, this is a condition where the blood vessels or nerves are compressed as they pass from the neck region into the arm, resulting in numbness and or pain in the arms and hands. This is often a result of tight muscles around the neck area and can be relieved with proper stretching, which will in turn promote circulation into that area. The typical area that can cause entrapment of the thoracic outlet is the neurovascular bundle, which is the nerve and the blood supply, which can get trapped by the scaling muscles and the first rib. I'm sure you've all crashed your bike at one point, so what scars have you got? Let us know below. But you can also brake and change gear from this position too. Do watch out there as your hands can slip selected and so you shouldn't try to ride at a specific cadence just because someone has told you that's the best way to do it. Practice this. Hand lines if you go down this route. Having a water bottle on your seat tube is more aero than not having 